So in this video, we will learn how to register user to WordPress on successful cash free payment. Now in this automation guys, whenever we are going to receive a payment in a payment gateway like cash free, instantly automatically the customer who made us the payment will be added as a user on our WordPress account or WordPress site. So using this automation guys, if you have some kind of exclusive content only for paid customer, you can actually use this automation to add those customers as a member or as a viewer in your WordPress site or WordPress account. So how you can set up this automation? To know this, you have to come with me to my screen. So as you can see, here we are on Public Connect dashboard. Now to reach this dashboard, you will get the free sign up link of Public Connect in the description box below. And after reaching to this dashboard, just click on create workflow and give your workflow a name. For example, I would like to name my workflow as cash free to WordPress. And then just click on create. Now we can see that our workflow is open over here. And in this workflow, we have two different windows. First one is the trigger window and second one is the action window. So triggers and actions are basically those two concepts, those two principles on which this whole automation works on, where the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. So let's begin with the trigger window. So the idea here is first, we have to get the details or the data of all the payments which we are receiving on our crash free account inside Pavli Connect. So we are going to connect our cash free account with Pavli Connect and get the payment details. After that, whenever we will get the payment details, we'll get the details of the customer who made the payment. So using those details, we are going to add that customer as a new user, as a subscriber on our WordPress account or WordPress site. So let's begin. So here in trigger window in choose app, search for cash free. Select cash free over here. And after that, in trigger event from the drop down, we can see there are several different trigger events over here. So in this video, I'm going to use a payment form of cash free. So I'm using payment form of cash free to collect the payments. So I will be selecting payment via payment form as a trigger event. If you're using some kind of payment gateway from cash free or you are using payment links of cash free, you can select the trigger event according to that as well. After selecting a trigger event, Pavli Connect gave us a webhook URL. Now we are going to use this webhook URL to make the connection between cash free and Pavli Connect. And how we can do that? Just copy this webhook URL from here and follow the help text given below over here. So after copying this webhook URL, just go to the home page of your cash free account. And right now my cash free account is in production mode. So let me switch it to the test mode for now. So we are here, we have switched to test environment of our cash free account. And then we are going to visit our payment gateway. After reaching to the payment gateway of your cash free account right now, because we are just setting up this automation, that's why we have selected test environment from the left side, just click on this developers option. And then under payment gateway, select webhooks over here. Basically in your production account as well, you just have to replicate the same process right now, just for making the test payment and testing this automation, we are using test environment. After clicking on webhooks here, you can see all the payment methods out of which we are setting up this automation in this video for payment forms. Just click on payment forms over here and click on this add webhook URL button. Paste the webhook URL which Public Connect gave us and click on test and add. Now as we click on test and add, this webhook URL is added in our cash free account and the test response of a test payment is sent to Public Connect. And here in Public Connect guys, we can see that we have received the response. So in response, we have received the details of a test user, a dummy user. We have the mobile number, the name of the test user, the email address and other details regarding the payment. So in this way, guys, we can see that the connection between cash free and public connect is made completely. Now let's click on add. And now guys, we have received the test response, but now what we are going to do, we are going to make another test payment and capture the response. Just click on this recapture webhook response button, click on yes. And now again, it is waiting for webhook response. So we are going to actually make a test payment on our cash free payment form. For that, we'll just go to the payment gateway section of cash free. And after that, from the left side, go to payment forms. And here, this is a payment form, which I have created in cash free. Just copy this link of payment from, from here, go to a new tab and paste it over here. Now, right now, guys, what we are going to do, we are going to enter the details of a dummy customer and make a test payment. 
So we are going to enter the name of the customer as dummy user. This is the name. This is the email address. And then let's enter just a second, not this. And then the, this is the mobile number of the customer. Click on pay securely. Now, because we are in the test mode, so we can make a test payment. Just use this test card and then click on pay now. Let's enter the OTP as well and click on simulate success. And the payment is done. Here we can see that just now we made a test payment. This means we have received a new payment on our cash free account. And because we have connected our cash free account with Public Connect, we will see the details of the same payment will be captured inside Public Connect workflow as well. Let's get back to our workflow. And yes, guys, here you can see that in response received, we have the details of the same payment which we have just now received. We have the date and time that at what date and time we have received this payment. We have the transaction ID. We have the order status as paid. We have the amount. We have the mobile number of the customer who made us the payment. We have the name of the customer. And also guys, we can see that we have the email address of the customer for the product, the product name for which the customer made us the payment. So in this way, guys, we can see that we have successfully received the cash free payment details inside Public Connect workflow. Now let's move to a next step. And in the next step, we want to add the same customer as a new user, as a subscriber on our WordPress site. For that, we have to send this customer details to WordPress. Now to do so guys, just scroll down and come to our action window. And here in choose app, search for WordPress. Select WordPress over here. And after that, in action event from the drop down, we have to select the action event as create a user. Select this, click on connect and select add new connection. Now here guys, you have to connect your WordPress account with Public Connect. And to make this connection, you just have to enter the username or email address of your WordPress account, the password of your WordPress account, and the base URL of your WordPress site. Now you must be having the username, email, and the password, but to get the base URL, you just have to go to your WordPress site. And here you have after from HTTPS guys, you have to select the URL till here before WP admin or whatever slash you have. This is the base URL of your WordPress site. Just copy this URL from here, go to public connect and paste it over here. If you have any kind of doubt regarding the base URL, you can refer to the help text given below over here as well. Now, after this, let's enter the username and password of your WordPress site as well. Okay, so here I have entered the base URL of my WordPress site, the username and the password. Now let's click on save. And as we click on save, we will see that our WordPress account will get connected with Pavli Connect. After making this connection, the first thing it asks us is the email address. That what is the email address of the new user to whom we want to add to a WordPress site. So here, while receiving the payment details from Cash Free, we have received the email address of the customer who made the payment as well. Also the name and the phone number. So in this way, guys, what we have to do, we have to basically map this response of email address of the customer which we have received from Cash Free over here in this email address field. And guys, the process of mapping is very simple. Simply click on this field and in the drop down below from the responses of cash free, select the response of customer email and it will be mapped over here. After email address, the next thing it asks us is the username that what is the username of the new customer. So let's take an example of I want the username to be the email address as well. So the email address of the customer will be the username of the customer for my WordPress website. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to click here and from the cash flow responses from the drop down, once again, map the response of email address. After username, the next thing it is asking is for the password. Now I want to create a default password that is, for example, the mobile number of the customer. I want that whatever mobile number the customer is going to enter while making the payment, the same mobile number will be the default password of the WordPress site or the WordPress account, which we are going to create of the user for our site. So we are going to map the mobile number over here. After this, the first name, last name, name, nickname, we have to enter these details. So we don't have the first name and last name as separate responses, but we have the complete name, the full name of the customer as a single response. This is it. So let's map the response of full name over here. Then if you want to give some kind of nickname, you can add that nickname over here as well. And the description of this user as well. So here I want the description of this user as, for example, 
cash free customer so i want all the customers of our cash free account to whom we are adding as a user in our wordpress site i want all of those customer to have a common description as cash free customers after that the last thing it is asking us is the role so in the drop down below we can see five different roles administrator author contributor editor and subscriber so i want all of these customers to be a subscriber on my wordpress site i want to give this particular role that's why i have selected it and after that let's click on save and send test request after clicking on save and send test request here we can see that we have received some response over here and this response seems to be a positive response to us this response shows that the user whose details we have mapped over here basically the customer who actually made us the payment on our cash free account the same customer is been added as a new user a new subscriber on our wordpress site so let's check it we are going back to the dashboard of our wordpress site and after that from the we'll just scroll down and go to user section go to all users and yes guys here we can see that the same customer from whom we have received the payment on our cash free account with the same email address has been added as a new user in our wordpress site so we have the same email address the same username of the email address which we have given to the user and we have the same role of subscriber over here so in this way guys we can set up this automation using which whenever we are going to receive a new payment in our cash free account automatically the customer who made the payment will be added as a new user in our wordpress site so after setting up this automation guys what we have to do we just have to test this automation once for that we are just going to make another test payment on our cash free site so let's enter the details of a new user for example test pabli is the name of the user and then i want the email address to be test at rate pablitudes.com let's enter another dummy mobile number and then click on pay securely let's enter the test card details and click on simulate success and yes guys here we can see that just now we have received another payment on our cash free account from the customer named as test pabli and this is the email address and as we receive these payments instantly automatically we will see the same user will be added in our wordpress site so let's get back to wordpress refresh this page once let's scroll down and yes here we can see that the same user is been added in our wordpress site as well test@rightpapletuse.com the same email address of the customer which they have entered while making the payment so in this way guys we saw that the automation workflow which we have created in this video is working perfectly fine Now guys whenever you are going to receive a payment in cash free the same customer will be automatically added in WordPress Now guys not just these application you can connect plenty of other applications with Pavli Connect and guys one more important thing you will find the clone link of the same workflow in the description box below by clicking on that link you can clone the same workflow into your own Pavli Connect account and use this workflow for absolutely free If you have any kind of doubts or queries you can post them on forum.pavli.com So if this video was helpful to you you can obviously like this video comment out your suggestion and don't forget to share it with others So guys that's it for today's video thank you have a great day